Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley and today we are going to be attempting the story a month challenge by Susan Denard. I'm excited. I've never done this before. I know she's been doing it since January. She started it in December and just launched it in January. So I'm eager to try it out and see what it is and sit down and write a whole short story in a day or in a month. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so here we have the story a month challenge with Susan Denard. Dear Haley, how did February turn out for you? It's very personalized. I love that, I gotta say. All right, and here are the prompts. So text is a non-vampire in a city of vampires. Okay, and then image is a person with a fox head. Here we go. A person with a fox head sitting by a window, cool, I guess. And then here's the audio, which I will listen to right now. All right, I'm just gonna pull up the audio. It's an ad from Stop Shop. Great. Oh, it's a song. Okay, Quincy Jones, Soul Bossa Nova. Um, actually, I probably, probably can't play that because copyright, but okay, cool. It's a song. Thank you, Quincy Jones. Cool, I'll have to listen to that by myself to get some inspiration. So far we have the non-vampire in a city of vampires, person with a fox head, that also kind of looked like, like a paper mask fox head, kind of, I think. I'm gonna go with that, and then of course we have the audio, and I don't know if combine them all or just stick with one. I'm kind of partial to the text one and maybe the fox head. I'm gonna make a word document and I'm gonna add in all the prompts and go. I actually really really love working off of structured things like this. It's how I honestly write my best plays. Starting from an idea, starting from a short prompt with like very specific parameters and it's always so fun to see where those parameters can take you because I'm sure that my story will be wildly different from Susan Denard's or, or anybody else who takes this story challenge. So let me go make a word doc and let's get to it. I also haven't written a short story in forever, which I know I keep saying, but I have not written a short story in ages, years, probably years. It's all just been short plays, which is great, but I don't know. I don't know what this is going to be. Here we have the document. Oh, I should actually save it real quick. But here we have Susan Denard's short story challenge, a non-vampire in a city of vampires, and the fox picture. Okay, let's get started. I don't really know where I'm gonna get started, but cool. Philip never felt as alone as he did when he walked through the streets of Vampire City at dusk. All right, that's the first line. <laughs> I've already gotten about a hundred words, so woohoo, we're good. So I just hit 772 words. This is slowly turning into a club story, I think. <laughs> Philip the vampire is going clubbing <laughs> with a bunch of humans. And honestly, I'm just so glad that the words are flowing and I'm just throwing everything I can into this, into this story. I still need to have the fox mask and the sound, I think. I, I think the sound is just gonna be playing in the background while they dance, you know, whatever. Sound, atmosphere, music. Who is it? It's Quincy Jones, Bossa Nova. Nice, playing in the club, great, cool. Somebody's gonna be wearing a fox mask soon, I guess. Maybe Philip and this human guy he met will lounge with fox masks. I don't know. We're gonna see. <laughs> this is a really, really fun experiment. I have not thought of the ending yet. I've not gotten there. I'm I'm having a lot of fun describing Philip's reactions and like the, you know, vampire versus human, I guess. And yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Didn't realize how much I missed like dancing and meeting people until now. I mean, I know I'm not a vampire unless... All right, I'm gonna go back to the story. Actually, I have to do my taxes. So I'm gonna do my taxes and then return back to this and we'll see how it changes. 
<laughs> Hopefully this won't become a story about like tax law and whatever. Cool. I am back. I finished filing my taxes. I feel good. I also made pasta and lunch. You can't you can't really can't really see it there. There we go, lunch, yay. Uh, it's been about three hours, so I'm gonna go back to this. I'm gonna keep writing and we'll see where it ends up. I'm pretty sure that I left them like in a club. The second guy hasn't even introduced himself yet, so I guess I have to figure out a name. Cool, cool, cool. Everything's, everything's fine. Uh, honestly, honestly, like I said before, I'm really, really enjoying this though. Just like free writing. Don't really have an end word count goal for this. It's just gonna be whatever it is. All right, let's jump back into writing. Woohoo. just finished it. I wrote the ending. I still have a little bit more in the middle to write. I don't really know what to write. The middle is the hardest part, <laughs> but I'm up to 1854 words, so 1854 words. I think that this is this is going really well. I think that I'm gonna take a walk now. Um, I have my Twitch stream at four, which we're probably gonna be writing, or if we're not, then taking a break and returning to this tomorrow. I will let you know, but but for writing this in, in a day, I feel like it's really good. Like I said, free form, nothing special, not putting a lot of pressure on myself. I feel like I really, really needed this. And like I said before, I don't think that I'm gonna be sending this out. This is just gonna be fun for me. We'll see if I do multiple drafts or anything, but it's fun. It's cute. I'm having fun. That's what I needed this weekend. <laughs> Thank you, Susan Denard. Thank you, Susan Denard, for the story a month challenge. <laughs> story a day, really, I guess, if if I come back to it. All right, gonna take that walk now. Woohoo. I finished it, oh my gosh. So I started it this morning and I just finished it and I'm, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't I haven't like written a short story in forever honestly I know I feel like I keep saying that maybe it's just because I repeated myself in my videos today in like filming but wow I finished it woohoo ah how did everybody do um so wait, wait wait my word count my word count was 509 words so the whole short story is I mean maybe it's like too short but I don't know it's it's 2363 words and it's about two vampires no 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 it's about a vampire and a human who fall in love at a club and it's cute it's very cute <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. I forgot that I had to finish the end of this video. So I just want to say a couple stats. I don't even have my monitor plugged in. Hold on. I don't even have word up. So I finished the short story. It ended up being around 2,363 words, which I feel like is an accomplishment. I don't know how long short stories should be, but I wrote one. This is literally the first short story that I've written in like five years, <laughs> it feels like, kind of. So I'm I'm gonna take that as a win. One of the main characters does not still have a name, but you know what? It's only the first draft and Susan Denard said to write a short story a month, not write a complete finished short story a month, so that's where I'm leaving it. Anyways, I did end up finishing this on stream, so if you're interested in following me for some more writing content and my writing live streams, I do stream four times a week over on Twitch if you're interested in keeping up with those sprints and everything, but that is the end of that video, everybody. Just wanted to give my stats. Like I said, I'm feeling really good about this. It had to be just done and not finalized in any way, and I'm glad that, you know, my little vampires in a city of not on vampires or whatever it's supposed to be ended up being something that I wrote. So for me, that's an accomplishment. What have you accomplished this month? What have you accomplished with writing, with short stories? Have you taken Susan Denard's short story challenge? Let me know. I'll see you all next Friday with another video. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye.